Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about SSL or TLS certificate specific and how we can use these specific SSL or TLS certificates to secure communication to our Azure web services and the applications hosted within it. For this method, either you can use private or public SSL certificates, either you can you go and buy the certificate or you just generate from your uh, Windows uh, certificate server uh, in order to secure the communication on a web servers, uh, for example, the web application that you hosted or you created on Azure websites. So now uh, we can basically what we can do is uh, we can create a web application and either you need to choose a custom domain if you want to you know go for the a proper demo or proper real time then let's have a valid custom domain and that specific domain name let it match with the certificate. So you need to buy even certificate also or you generate a certificate from your existing uh, certificate server so that it can be valid it can be validated over the cloud or over everywhere so so that it works otherwise what happens is once you for example this is the uh, web application which we have created and we pointed to a website called masterlory.com and what happens is when we pointed to this if if in case if we don't have a proper certificate so what would happen is if you try to browse with a HTTPS we get an error similar to uh, saying that this specific certificate is not valid if we see here uh, with respect to the the site certificates are not valid if I just click on here it says that all the certificates that are generated not on the name of the masterlory.com instead it was actually coming from azure website.net so this will tell that the communication is not secure so in order to secure this information what we can do is uh, we can buy a certificate with specific to our domain and then import that certificate so the communication will be completely secure so let's do that demo so if you see here the application service plan is I'm running an S1 so why I'm showing you is this if your application uh, plan or app service plan is not supported for the custom domains you cannot add the domain so be sure that you are running on a proper uh, application scale up let's see if I just go go ahead and show you here you see here I'm on S1 and here I can use the custom domain or SSL also information if I just go back with a normal one I cannot use the specific to the F1 or the, which is a free one then I cannot use the custom domain so be sure that you are actually running any uh, supported version of the SSL uh, for the domain name custom domain because this is required for the custom domain also the SSL also enables for only the custom domain and uh, let's jump into the demo so this demo will begin from where I have started like I just created a web application as part of the demo post to that uh, all the steps which I'm performing will be uh, specific to the this demo to secure your web applications so let's see so that's my uh, website, um, which is the app web uh, web application. If you see here, uh, paddyazexam.azurewebsite.net. That's a website which is available. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take you to the custom domains. And you see here, if I want to you know add the custom domain, I need to add. Um, I need to either buy the domain or I can simply go back here and click on add this specific information like IP address information on my DNS that's my public DNS wherever I purchased then I need to create a specific IP address information within the DNS so that I can validate that information so let's see uh, the add custom button will click on it so that you can add a custom dom custom domain uh, let's say this is my uh, GoDaddy specific um, DNS management so I'm gonna actually add here I'm gonna copy paste the uh, masterlory.com which is my domain name here uh, and then uh, then I'm gonna add actually C name and text records and also some one more C name also but let's actually uh, add the domain name here and before I add the domain name I wanted to show you here 
the website was not opening uh, properly right so it was parked at some other domain so it's gonna actually show us these records to be created the first one would be the text record as well as the a record so I'm gonna add text record in my GoDaddy or DNS so click on add so these steps are very similar with any other um, DNS provider but uh, you might have to um, look at the GUI might be differs but the values are or the way you add would be remain same so I'm just copying the value of the text file text value and click on save and the next one would be the C name if I'm correct yeah that would be the C name which I'm gonna add oh it's a, a record so if you have already a record it might not work so let it just give a record click on save and if you see here that's already there I'm gonna remove this parked one also that's it I don't want to do that so I have taken out so if I just go wait for uh, some time basically it required 20, 48 hours but uh, since uh, it's a GoDaddy uh, for me it would not take not more than five to ten minutes time so after five minutes if I come back here and click on verify it should actually if I just go up and click on verify I should be able to validate these records so I'm just validating I just pass maybe a two three minutes time and I'm able to validate so that's good so I can uh, simply save the configuration is saved so I'll just click on add button one more time so that it adds and if you're uh, you, you can see here uh, if when it clearly says that if you added the custom domain but you haven't added the certificate in that situation you will be getting as the address or warnings so for that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add binding so that uh, my paddy azexam.azure website.net will become a proper binding with the SSL because I am getting here already a warning in order to secure so I'm gonna click on add binding that would actually takes me to the page and also uh, that specific web page uh, this is another step like uh, it's part of your web application designing like if you are mapping any of the custom domain you need to create uh, a C name with your WW as a host name and actual uh, web name so website name of your azure website dot net name so in this case the application is paddy easy exam dot azure website dot net so i need to copy paste this information and click on save so then it actually diverts it it will uh, route back or it will actually forward that uh, request to the ww request so if i just go back here i'm actually getting uh, still here and if i just wait for some time and redo so I'm getting actually website and but it is actually not secure so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually uh, here I'm gonna uh, add here the HTTPS so that it should work for the custom domain so if I just go back to the my SSL binding specific I need to add here the certificate if you don't have you may have to buy or you can generate from um, your on premises if you have a on premises infrastructure so in my case I have I have already generated a PFX certificate so I'm gonna import the certificate in the format of PFX and then I will be able to use that specific certificate so I'll just simply click on add TLS or SSL binding and I will be choosing my custom domain which I have already added in the previous steps maybe four five minutes back and I'm gonna upload here PFX file so click on file and the file has been copy pasted here so this file will normally PFX uh, will have the uh, secret password so I need to enter that secret password in order to validate so once I've done that it will validate the certificate this might take a minute or so once I have done that if I just go to my website 
I can see here I'm still getting the error because it just have done so I'll just wait a minute or so to refresh the page with the HTTPS so if I just wait for a minute or so uh, I should be able to do it so even in fact it's not it done because it just added the certificate so it takes some time uh, I need to click on add button now one more time in order to uh, properly install because we just imported the certificate but not it installed so we have to choose here the certificate now it's very important here to choose I think you want uh, this certificate to be valid based on the IP address based SSL or maybe signature based that's the name of your domain so I would always recommend you to go for the name based so I'm gonna use the server name uh, based mechanism so SNIA SNI SSL specific so I'll just choose that and then the certificate add binding so now it's gonna bind so earlier it just got imported but it was not added added to the website that's why I was I was not getting it so now once the site is fully um, functional mode so I'll just have to refresh and add HTTPS this time it should go very smooth with a log button so if I just go to the log button and certificate valid so I can see here the certificates that are coming from a domain called masterloading.com so that tells how you can secure your your web application so from now on our data will be fully encrypted when interacting with this website and no longer we no longer have to worry about any communication between the client and the server being exposed in any way so those are TSL and SSL and SSL certificates and how we can use those to protect our web applications within Microsoft Azure world so thank you for joining this we'll catch you in the next lecture